learn how to sign and sideload any IPA file using AltStore app, which is very similar to SideStore, but it neither require any pairing file for its setup, nor requires any VPN to function. First off, launch any browser of your choice. Currently I am in love with the Comet AI browser, by Perplexity. I got the Perplexity Pro trial for free, without any paywall, you can check the description for download link, must try folks. On the browser, simply type, AltStore. And on the search results page, click on this very first link as shown. This is the official website of AltStore. Simply scroll down to the bottom of the page, to the download section. The first tool we will download is AltServer. And it's supported in both Windows and macOS operating systems. Let's download AltServer for my Windows computer. Once the same is put to download, next click on Install Guide Hyperlink. And on the next page, located on the left sidebar, click on How to Install for Windows. So before installing AltServer, we must install iTunes and iCloud from this link only. And if you have one already from Microsoft Store, then uninstall it. And since iTunes is available for both 32-bit and 64-bit processors, let me show how you can find your computer's processor. Go to the Settings option, and on the search bar type and search for device specifications. As you can see, my computer's is having 64-bit processor. So in my case, I will download the 64-bit version of iTunes. And yes, don't forget to download iCloud as well. Once all the three files are downloaded, let's install these tools in a proper sequence. First, install the iTunes, and do the usual setup, like any other program. Meanwhile it's installing, please do subscribe to my channel, for more authentic videos like this. Once done, launch iTunes, and now connect your iOS a device to the computer. And if your device is recognized, it should show this icon here, as shown. And if it's not detected, then you can watch this video of mine, to fix the issue. Link will be in description. Now, click on this icon here. And on the next page, simply scroll down, and enable this features, that syncs iTunes with your iOS device over Wi-Fi, meaning truly wireless. Next up, let's go ahead, and install the iCloud tool. Please do not skip any steps, if you want AltStore to work flawlessly. Once iCloud is installed, simply reboot the computer, for the changes to take effect. Once the device boots up, launch the file manager program, and navigate to the download folder, and locate the AltServer zip file, which we previously downloaded. Now, extract the AltServer zip file, and after extraction, navigate to the extracted folder, and finally install the Alt installer, by double-clicking on the file. And once the installation process is completed, from the taskbar, search for Alt Server. And you can run it as an admin, or simply open the program. Now on the taskbar, click on this arrow up icon here, and you will see this diamond-shaped icon. Click on it, and make sure your device is connected to the computer. Simply click on Install Alt Store, and it will show your connected iOS device. Click on the same, and enter your Apple ID and password. Please note, Login details are not stored by AltStore, but it's sent to Apple servers. That's it, AltStore will start installing in your iOS device. As you can see here, the AltStore app is successfully installed in my iOS device, and now you can disconnect your iOS device from your computer. Now we must trust the certificate, by opening the Settings app, and navigating to General, and then to VPN and Device Management. Also, make sure that if you have any anti-revoke DNSS installed, then set it to automatic, or remove it completely. And then proceed to trust the certificate. That's it. Now go back and launch the AltStore app and you do not require any pairing file here for AltStore setup. Make sure to grant all the permissions it asks for. On the AltStore app, navigate to Settings section, and sign in with your Apple ID and password. Make sure that it's the same Apple ID, which was used to install AltStore. But if you get any error like this, during sign-in, where there is a failure in logging in, but here's a simple fix to get past the issue. Simply go back, scroll down, and just clear the cache of the app. And now try to re-sign in into AltStore. And this time the sign-in issue should be resolved, like you see on the screen. The AltStore setup is completed. And now let me show how to sign and install any IPA using AltStore. Navigate to My Apps section. Tap on this plus icon here as shown. Now simply select any IPA file of your choice. In my case, I will install Live Container App. If you get this pop-up, you can select Remove App Extensions. And in just few seconds, the desired app will be signed and installed in your iOS device. As you can see, 
I am able to successfully launch and run the app without any error or verification integrity issues. Next, let me guide you how to keep Alt Store forever. When you launch the Alt Store app, you will find a numerical next to each app, which represents the number of days left for the apps to expire. So to always reset the number of days to 7 days, it's a must to refresh apps before it expires. Simply tap on Refresh All option here, and as you can see, the refreshing process has started successfully. One good advantage of Alt Store is that you do not even need any VPN, and it's completely wireless. Simply tap on Refresh All and let Alt Store handle the rest. And as you can see, all the app's expiration days are reset to 7 days successfully. But to refresh it wirelessly, make sure both your computer and iOS device are on same Wi-Fi. The computer must be on and running, and finally Alt Server should be running in the background. But if you want to install apps without computer, then you must watch my next video.